Hi, and welcome back to Card Crafting for Adults at the Kearney Public Library. Our project for June will be Father's Day and thank you cards. So we'll have those packets available in mid-May. Feel free to register. And if you don't get a chance to register, gather your own supplies and follow along and create your own pieces of uh, crafting. So if you get a packet, what you will get is four envelopes and four cards. The envelopes are really important. The post office is very picky about the envelope part of your cards. And then these are just examples of two of the um, tags that you will have in there. You'll have two thank you tags and two Father's Day or Papa Bear tags to add to your project. You will also get some accent paper and some sticky dots. And I think that's about what you'll get. There may be a few other little embellishments. They vary from packet to packet, but you should get something fun to help um, decorate your cards. Other things I find really useful, a corner rounder, double-sided tape, I go through miles of that. Um, these glue pens are fabulous. Sometimes it's fun to have some markers handy or colored pencils or crayons, whatever you like to work with. And then the other thing, and I guess I forgot them today, were my scissors because scissors are just useful for so many things. So why don't we get busy and make a few cards? Okay, we're going to make a couple cards today. I just put some of the stamps out, but you'll find other images. Um, you might have one that looks like this, and you might have um, a Father's Day one that has a little mustache on it too. Those are the four possible designs, and you should have one of each of those in your packet. Now, I already put the accent paper down on this one just by putting um, double-sided tape around the outside edge and sticking it down. Very simple. Um, but if you don't have uh, double stick tape, you could use regular tape, you could use glue, you could use those glue dots. Whatever you have handy or whatever you prefer to use, um, it's great. It's just the goal is to have some fun, create some cards, and then send them to someone you care about just to brighten their day up. So I've just put the tape around the outside of that tag and very simply stick it on. Now you might want to embellish it. Maybe you have some hearts or you have some flowers or who knows, any of your goodies that you have at home that you want to add to that. And then you could put that together for your card. This is the other thank you tag I have. And I just took my little marker and filled in the heart, but maybe you want to put just a fun heart sticker over that and add that to your card. Once again, with some, uh, washi tape or flowers or whatever it is that um, tickles your fancy. The next one we're going to do is a Papa Bear card. Um, I had some bits and pieces of this um, fishing lure paper that I thought was kind of fun, but maybe the father figure in your life is into golf or cars or grilling or whatever it is. There's all kinds of great paper out there if you want to add something that isn't already in your packet. Okay, so I just took the fishing lure paper, taped around the sides, the edges, stuck it down. And then this is a little bit like putting together a sandwich. You're just doing the layers. So I'll put some tape on the back of the tag and Just stick it down. But once again, you could use those glue pens. You could use sticky dots or regular glue, whatever is handy for you. Just need to keep your pieces together. So Papa Bear is down there. And then we'll put a little bit more tape on the back side of this. It's fun to customize these for the interests of the people that you are sending the cards to. And that would be true for birthdays, Mother's Day, holidays. Oh, that personal touch is always appreciated. And who doesn't like to get mail or just to have a nice card handed to them that they know you took some time and you put it together for them. And so we've got Papa Bear on there and I'm just gonna put it down and you're all set to go. So you have another Father's Day card. 
We're going to go ahead and show you some other examples that I made. Um, I didn't do narrating on them, but they should give you some other ideas to work with and probably have some of the pieces that are in your packets as well. So enjoy creating some cards for the people you love and get those in the mail to them. And um, if you want some more ideas and inspiration, we have lots of things up on the library website. We've got YouTube videos from our past card projects and our past craft projects. Or follow us on Facebook for ideas and new programs. Thank you.